Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about the cone stand phenomenon or the floating arm trick and how that pertains to shooting better horseshoes. First, let me explain the floating arm trick and then we'll talk about how it pertains to horseshoes in a second. So you've probably seen a lot of videos and probably done this when, the, when you were a kid. But you stand in a doorway and you take the, the outside the back of your hands and you push them out. And you push them out and use all your muscle and tighten up your muscles. And you do it for 30 seconds to a minute. Okay? Okay, and after 30 seconds or a minute, you can actually put your hands by your side and walk away. And then see what your arms do. When you do this, you want to make sure that you're not putting any muscle into your, just, just let your arm do what it wants, okay? And after a while, it'll wear off. Now, it's a uh, phenomenon, and now let's talk about how this phenomenon can be related to horseshoes and the way I've done it, okay? Let's go to the horseshoe pits. Okay, first thing I thought was, it works with your hands by your side and going out, but will your muscles react the same way if you have your palm up and you push out this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lot of pressure, I'm going to put a lot of pressure on the wall and tense all my muscles up, trying to push the wall out and keep my body still. And you're going to do this for about 30 seconds. Keep all that pressure on your arm. Pushing that wall out. And then you're going to step away and try to keep your arm. See right there. It does the exact same thing. No matter what position, it does the same thing no matter what position your arm is in, just as long as you're pushing and putting resistance on that muscle in the line of direction that you want it to go, okay? You see, you see how it didn't go out to the side? It went, it went straight to where you were pushing, okay? Now if I was pushing out to the angle here, now if I did this and I pushed this way, my arm would go that way. I did that, but it, it, would, it would follow the path that you're resisting towards, okay? Okay, so how I use the cone stand phenomenon or the floating arm trick in horseshoes is I do this really easy because I pitch with a locked elbow, okay? I hyperextend my hand so my palm is up, that's the way I want to release it, and my elbow is locked. And now all I do is put a horseshoe in it. So now you have the weight of your arm and the two pound, 10 ounce horseshoe as resistance. That's the wall, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to hyperextend that arm so your palm is right flat to the sky. That flat palm will release, help you release that shoe flat. And you're going to start right from here. You're going to feel that tense up. You're going to, you're going to start tensing all your muscles up. And what you're going to do is in a, in a straight line as possible. Okay? You can hold this here as long as you want. The longer you hold, the more the effect this has. And this, my, my, my arm is all tensed up. And you're just going to raise it right in the direct line that you want it to, to fly. Okay? And then once you get it up to level where you're going to start, you're going to start your rhythm at that moment. Okay? Now you're going to do it with the second shoe, and you're going to do it over and over and over and over again. Okay? Now, you can try this in practice. What's going to happen is you're going to find your arm is not as strong as you think. I don't care if you've been throwing horseshoes every day for 20 minutes, every day for an hour, every day for two hours. If you do this and tense up your arm and, and, and take 8 to 10 seconds to bring it up every shoe, you're going to feel that 
you can actually, your arm can actually feel tired because I don't think you're, I think it's like lifting weights. Uh, you're going to build some uh, real good aiming power. You're going you're gonna to build your aiming muscles really good and you'll be able to center that shoe a lot better on that stake. Now one thing you want to make sure is that I've noticed is if you start down here and you bring it up and you're tired and, and, it, and it shifts off to the right or left or whatever and, and you, you continue bringing it up, you drop, your arm remembers those deviations, okay? So when you do it, make sure you bring it up straight and everything's tensed and you don't deviate left or right at all. Bring it up straight so when you bring it down and come back, remember it's a phenomenon. You don't know how these muscles are actually doing this, but they do it over and over again, okay? So you bring it up under complete pressure and, 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 and your, your muscles completely flex, and then just go limp. Just let, let, the, let the arm go limp, let it swing back, and use your step to bring it forward, and try not to use any muscle in your throat. It's just like if you step away from the wall or the door and you try to use muscle, your, your little bit of muscle will actually stop that phenomenon from working. So all you're going to do is just let go. Let it lift and come back and let it go. And if, you're, if, you're, if your shoe is, is a straight pendulum, you're, you're going to magically put that shoe on the stake or it's going to be very, very close. Uh, if you don't put it on the stake, you're going to be hitting the stake constantly. And the more you practice, the more you'll be putting it out of the stake. So use this phenomenon. Thanks for watching.